Hi, welcome back. This is Oddly Noted, and this is a video to teach more advanced shifting techniques for violin and viola. If you haven't had a chance to check out the basics of shifting, be sure to check out the link in the description below, and you'll be able to see how to shift from one finger to the same finger in that video. To start us off, we're going to extend the exercise that we learned last time, which is the real note, fake note, slide, real note, fake note, slide back. So let's review that really quick. We're going to start on the A string with our first finger. We're going to do a real note, meaning that it's fully pressed on the instrument, not clutching, but pressed. Now we're going to lift the finger up on top of the string. It's going to sound a pretty bad harmonic. And now we're going to shift up to a D on the A string, which is in third position, with a real note and then a fake note. And we're going to slide back on top of the string, and we're going to do another real note, fake note. I'm going to be playing some groupings in this exercise. And the last note in each grouping is going to be a fake note. So that means it's going to be on top of the string before we slide. Now let's take this another step. We're going to do two real notes and one fake note. Two. And then we're going to do a fake note, and we're going to slide, and in real notes, two of them. And a fake note, and slide back down to the B until you hear it, and then play a real note. You'll want to do this exercise until you can do it two times in a row while getting it really spot on in tune and that you're not overshooting the note and you're not under the shooting the note. It's also really important you shift both up and down just to learn the distance and to teach your big muscles right here how far they should go to get to third position. Now we're going to do four notes total. So this is going to be three real notes and one fake note. This is what it sounds like. In order to make sure that I don't overshift or undershift a note, I listen for that shift. And when I hear that the harmonics sort of settle on the pitch that I need, then I drop my finger fully onto the instrument. Now let's go on to sixes. So this is going to be five real notes and one fake note. This is how it sounds. exercise is that you're giving yourself more time on each note to think about what's about to happen and it shortens the amount of time that you have to shift so you have to do it quicker. The last one that I do is eight notes so this is seven real notes and the last one is a fake note. This is what it sounds like. I would do that until you can get two in a row 